I think, you know, I don't want to spoil something we'll definitely touch on later on, um, but probably the biggest news in the past few weeks has really been the political landscape that's kind of having a wider reaching impact across, you know, really everything from economics you already mentioned, but in some um, economic instability, just, you know, when there is a uh, political candidate shift this late and this close to the an election, it's going to have an impact. People don't necessarily know um, what sort of policy updates there are, um, but then interest rates continue to be extremely high. So it doesn't necessarily directly affect advertising, but it's going to change consumer behavior. Um, people, you know, if they're looking at a seven and a half, eight percent interest rate on their house, they may be thinking less about what shoes they're going to buy. Um, or, you know, it, it, and their buying power is just less. Um, so there's a lot of interesting pieces from a macro perspective when we pull out and, and look at how does this impact how people buy and how they shop for different, um, different goods and whatever that might be. So I want to pivot because we have a lot of automotive um, viewers today as usual. So specific to automotive, I know there's a couple of things that have shifted. Can you touch on, uh, on those two? Yeah, I, I think the largest one that's sort of looming over really every dealership across the country is the FTC cars rule. Um, we had a webinar last last month, which was a shameless plug, um, but really focused on what that means for our dealerships. If, if people aren't prepared for that, um, it's going to be a massive, massive change in how automotive advertising looks across the board. Um, and obviously there's some significant financial penalties if dealers aren't prepared to make those changes in, I guess, not just advertising, but how they're communicating with customers in general, whether it's in showroom or online displaying prices. Um, but I know you mentioned, you know, it, it's looking a, li a little bit more like a pre-2020 era, and we have a lot of automotive clients. Um, and I think that's probably the most consistent thing we've seen across dealerships across the country um, is that kind of the, the past four years of um, inventory shortages and every, and low interest rates where consumers can easily get a car and sometimes they might just sell themselves, that's gone. Um, so dealerships really need to be focused on, you know, how efficiently are they spending their budget? How are they communicating to their customers directly? And how are they standing out against other dealerships? Um, one thing that we've started really looking at, you know, it's not technically advertising, but what does a shopping experience look like? When you go to a website or get in contact with a dealer, what's that experience? How are you, how is a dealership kind of getting out of a consumer's way to make that purchase decision and that purchase process extremely seamless? <laughs> 